What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide. Today we're taking a, we're kind of switching it up a bit, right? People have been asking me about Diaz and people have also been asking me about Kiesa and how I would train him up. I'm going to give you kind of a head to head comparison and I'm also going to show you two versions of each player that I think are really, really good, right? Kiesa is a fantastic super sub as you see here. He is part of the Masterful Stars, which is available with the nominating contracts. If you haven't got your free one of them, you can do so by playing 15 games in the match pass. If you have the value or premium match pass, you will be able to unlock another five star as well. But they're both very similar players, right? If we take a look at the two of them here, they both have unwavering form. They both have very similar skills. Obviously, Kiesa does probably um, kind of shade it with the, with the skills, I would say, because of super sub. He's kind of an off-the-bench type player. I don't know what I'd be starting Kiesa if he was my starting uh, right midfielder or right winger. Uh, I think that, you know, you would need somebody good on the bench to come in as well. But he's got, like, bags of pace, bags of stamina, very good passing. Diaz is more of a, as you see the comparison here between them, Diaz is more of a traditional kind of outright winger, right? You've got the base speed and acceleration very similar. They've also got similar offensive awareness and ball control, dribbling, tight possession. Their stats are kind of in and around the same, right? Now, Diaz does have more levels to go um, than Kiesa, which is, yeah, it's a slight concern, I would suppose, I suppose that Kiesa only has 20 levels. I think if he had 25, he would be the, the hands down one of the best picks in the five-star free, free nominating contracts. But everything else is similar, you know, finishing, uh, dribbling, acceleration, stamina, balance, everything is kind of in around the same. And obviously Diaz has more uh, growth with that prog progression points, but they can both play on the right flank. They can both play on the left flank and they can also play, Diaz can play left mid. He's one of the best left mids in the game, in my opinion, especially for early players. And also Kiesa can play on either side of midfield, right? I think where Kiesa really comes into his own as we go on over to eFootball DB here, I think where Kiesa really comes into his own is when you're playing him as a left midfielder, right? So we are going to take a look at that player uh, version first, right? So this is all about kind of, yeah, you still have your dribbling, you still have your dexterity, but it's all about stamina and you've got a bit of passing as well to bring his passing up. I'm going to be playing him as a right-sided midfielder or a left-sided midfielder. I'm not going to be playing him as a 4-3-3. It's going to be more like a 4-4-2 four, four, um, diamond, you know, where you've got your DMF and an, a CMF or an AMF and then you've got your left and right uh, midfielders kind of helping back defensively and being able to add width and being able to kind of manually defend with them uh, when you bring him in centrally, right? Even though his play style is a prolific winger, I do like this Kiesa. This version of him here is probably the favoured one that I would go for if you're looking for something a bit different, right? There's a lot of wingers that are better than Kiesa and Diaz there, but I think it's their, you, you know, it's their kind of mobility and versatility that I'm looking for in these type of players, especially if you're going to use a free five-star on him, right? So you've got 91 dribbling, 90 acceleration, 83 stamina, 88 speed, and of course, you've also got 75 passing. Diaz's version of him on the right flank, or, or sorry, on the left flank, he's going to be, you, you, this is the left midfielder version of Diaz. You do have pinpoint crossing on both these cards, so that's going to be something to keep an eye on as well. If you do are looking for a crosser of the ball, these players can't really like, you know, like hit unbelievable crosses um, that you're going to have players that have like 90 curl and 90 lofted pass with pinpoint cross and an early crosser. These are kind of like a jack of all trades that you're still able to de defend manually. You're able to position yourself manually to be able to cut in and shoot with the finishing. You're also able to um, pass the ball with these guys as well as well as having that blister and pace. You know, a lot of the left and right midfielders don't have blister and pace of 90 acceleration and 91 speed, and especially don't have 90 dribbling, unless you go for the upper, upper, upper guys um, of even somebody like Neymar that plays left mid, or if you play him in that advanced role as a winger, it's going to be a different experience, right? So that it would be if you are playing possession, if you're playing out wide, if you're looking to be very solid and know exactly what you get out of your players, then we also have Diaz as a left winger, right? So this guy is probably a better version of him, I say, because you have 90 ball control, 93 dribble and 90 tight possession and then 91 speed with 96 acceleration, 84 offensive awareness and 81 balance, which is huge. If you're looking for a super sub right winger, I definitely recommend Kiesa. Even though he doesn't have the blistering pace uh, that Diaz has of 96, there's no real difference between 92 and 96 when you're on the pitch, you know, especially if you bring Kiesa on as a super sub. I think Kiesa being a super sub shades it for him. A lot of people sleeping on Diaz and Kiesa. I think that they're both fantastic players. Excuse me, 90 dribbling, 
you know, 88 speed, 92 acceleration. You've got finishing 75 and you're low past 71. You don't need anything else if you're using him as a winger just to cut in and be able to keep your opponent guessing whether you're going to shoot or not. And added to that with the player skills as well, I do think that both of these guys are extremely good. And uh, yeah, I think they're a little bit underrated, especially Diaz, obviously. I would probably go for Kiesa, um if it was me. Um, but yeah, that is just a training guide and the two of those guys. Um, I will be back streaming Thursday, lads. It's been a bit of a hectic week. I will be explaining everything. I'll have a big announcement on Thursday. Hopefully, you're excited as I am. Um, it's going to be something personally for me that I'm 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 just buzzing with, man. So hopefully, I'll be able to explain it a little bit more Thursday. But until then, we will talk to you, lads, and uh, we will see you for more videos soon. I'll be back with Dream Team Chronicles tonight, and I hope you guys enjoy it.